Five questions. Now that I have my your phone. So, are you ready? I yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Okay. <laughs> Why so serious? Okay. What makes you angry? What makes me angry? That's hard. That's just so random, too. <laughs> uh, I am not prepared for these. Um, what makes me angry? I don't really get angry. I that's just... why on the spot. That's, oh, okay. Is that what this is called? On the spot questions? I don't really get angry. Like maybe I'll get uh, annoyed or I'll lose my patience. Mm -hmm. um, I think lack of organization sometimes. I guess that's might be my one thing in the Philippines that sometimes I get frustrated at is like. Um, like what do you mean organization? Like, um, like for example, like the to go buy a boat ticket, you have to go through the gate and stop at a little desk and get a little ticket from the Coast Guard or from. The, and then you have to go back and stand in line and then pay for the ticket. And then you got to go to the Coast Guard and then you go pay a um, tick or you pay a terminal fee. And like mm -hmm. it's just instead of just like pay one price at the ticket booth and you're done, like you have to do all these like little stops. Yeah. So for me, like organization. That annoys me too. <laughs> Why did you like me? Um, I, I guess because we have all like the same interests, you know, we both were kind of outdoors into hiking, waterfalls, um, both kind of adventurous. And then mm -hmm. the more I got to know you, the more alike, I, I guess we are, we were And okay. at, the, at the beginning, we started off almost like we thought we were opposites. Yeah. And then <laughs> towards the, towards the end, we're like, we realized how much we have in common. Yes. So. You don't like me at first, right? <laughs> no, I, I because like... Because you think I'm different. Like yes. Our, our, not your type. Our first date, I liked you. And then the second date, I I think we both were like, oh, I, I think we're... I think it doesn't we're, match. We don't match each other. Mm -hmm. And then we tried a third date, and that's when we kind of kind of came together. Third question, babe. Yes. Why would you choose Filipina over Westerner? Why would I choose Filipina over Westerner? Um, I, I guess quite a few reasons, but one, I think much more family oriented, more feminine, as in like they still kind of believe in traditional values that a lot of Western women have lost. Um, more attractive, in my opinion, mm -hmm. you know, um, or like loving, more caring. Um, not to say that there's not a Western woman out there that doesn't have some of those values, but uh, for me, uh, a Filipino just has, it's more common that they have that. Fourth question, sir. Okay. <laughs> when you were single, what's your biggest expenses? Oh, when I was single, believe it or not, it, you would think it'd be like rent or something, but it wasn't. It was actually going out and having coffees and just eating out because I honestly, every day I would go out and have a coffee and every day I would go and eat at least one meal outside, Okay. sometimes two, and um, plus plus the coffees in the morning. So that was, that's always been my biggest expense in the Philippines anyways, eating out and coffees. Mm -hmm. Now with Maya, as soon as I wake up and I wake up early, I wake up at like six o'clock, six 30 and Maya's already up at like five, five 30 <laughs> <laughs> and she's already got coffee. Like, so I don't even, I don't have that uh, craving of like, Oh, let me go to the coffee shop. Um, of course, the coffee shop was always more about uh, just 
just getting out of the house, you know, so I could yeah. get out of the house. And it wasn't so much about because I wanted the coffee so much. It was like yeah. the social thing. Um, but now my biggest expense in the Philippines would be the rent. Now that you are in a relationship. Now that I'm in a relationship would be the rent. Rent. Because rent. upgraded into a much bigger place, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I love having, we actually have a room now just for taking naps. <laughs> we were going to make it into a guest bedroom, but we decided it's just a, our nap room because we're too lazy to go upstairs. We will yeah. just sleep downstairs. <laughs> now that you're 51, yes. but you don't look really 51. The first time I saw you, I thought you're like, in your 43, you're like 43 years I, old. I wish. In, yeah. In my life, I used to tell people I was 43. <laughs> yeah, because you don't, you don't look 50 at all. Yeah. So what's your secret? My secret? I honestly, I think when I got to the Philippines, it was more about um, maybe less stress in my life. You know, I think, I think stress is a big factor of aging mm -hmm. uh, as far as what I can come up with. And, I, I may not exercise all the time, but I try. I, I try to do something. And ever since I got my, my watch that counts my steps and my heart and all, my sleep patterns, like I always have like this goal to reach my, 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 my certain amount of steps per day. Okay. You know, I, I guess that less That's stress. Yeah. And I, I do, well, the intermittent fasting we do, most of the time, I should say, I, I try to anyway. And I try to stay away from sugar, even though my and I do have a weakness <laughs> for certain things, for certain foods. So, yeah. so you're saying that in, in America, you're stressed all the time? I had stressful jobs um, in the military. And then I was a claims adjuster in insurance, dealing with car accidents and and I was working like 60 hours a week and it was very fast paced. And uh, so it, it was a lot of stress, you know, like I was trying to get, I'd try to hurry up and finish my work to get home, but then mm -hmm. another claim would come in and I never had to work late. And it was, uh, yeah, it was stressful. pretty stressful. Yeah, I work. see. Yeah. Okay. I think that's actually a lot of Americans have a lot of that issue. They really, sometimes I think Americans, they have, uh, like, there's a saying in Italy. In Italy, they say they work to live. They don't live to work. And I think in America, they they live to work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's like, like whole, race. Yeah, that's like their whole life. And in Italy, and and now work for me is, is like just a means to pay for my bills. It's mm -hmm. like I don't live to work. In fact... That's where you and I get along. We would like to do as low as possible and get paid as much <laughs> as possible. <laughs> yes, I don't like working too. Yeah, or at least uh, if I ever if if I work, I want it to be something that I enjoy, and I've never yeah. really done that. Me too. Yeah. Can I do another question? Sure. What do you got? <laughs> okay, I have a question. Another question. These are random, by the way. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> I don't know, too. I'm yeah, still even thinking. Maya doesn't know sometimes. <laughs> okay. okay. Do you really like the Magetta or you just like the Magetta because I'm, I'm here? Mm -hmm. my, my first impression of Du Magetti, unfortunately, was at the time of... I, I was living here like three months before the pandemic occurred. And the first three months, I was actually liking it but then the pandemic happened and i think my my <clears throat> outlook of dumaghetti was not good but i think it was mainly because it just went through a serious lockdown you know i i felt like i was a prisoner mm -hmm. you and i are both the same we like if we're like stuck at home too long we feel like yeah. a caged animal and that's how i was like starting to feel like first we couldn't even leave our houses and then we couldn't even leave our barangays and then it, even leaving the island or even going from Negros Oriental to Negros Occidental, you couldn't even do that for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, so I felt like really I went from this free bird to be able to travel all over the place. That was my lifestyle to being kind of locked down. And I guess 
the first time around, I, I just kind of felt like soured on Dumaguete, but it was really, if I would have been stuck in Davao or Cebu, I probably would have had that same feeling. And then this time around, I kind of had like fresh, fresh look or a fresh perspective on it, you know, because I wasn't locked down. Yeah. I was able to travel and do things. So. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, if you ask me, do I like the traffic? I don't really like the traffic, but you, you learn to get around it. You, you know what time of day is to go. Maya's taught me like the back ways and roads. So now you're actually, you actually know the roads already. You don't, you would, you don't ask me anymore. Thanks to Maya, because Maya, <laughs> Maya's like, turn left, turn right, go straight. <laughs> Before I just knew like the main roads. <laughs> but, yeah. What's your opinion with the people that are haters towards you? I know you have few haters. Yeah, that's. I guess it's kind of normal when you when you start to vlog, and the more pop you, popular you get, you know, you get the more likes, you get the more subscribers, and of course, with that comes more more haters. It's just kind of the natural thing. And um, yeah. for me, I almost look at it as like, okay, I'm starting to become well known. I'm starting to become a little successful with vlogging, and it's just like kind of like a badge of honor. Like, oh, I got a, I got haters now. Oh, I've actually had a video made about me about how much they don't like me. <laughs> so it's just um, the natural progression of uh, if you're going to get more popular, if you're yeah, going to put yeah. yourself out there, then you know you're going to get a lot of likes and you're going to get the the dislikes too. It's just, it's just part of part of walking. Right? That's great. So that you're not. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I get like. I don't even read like, as soon as I see that it's like if it's I don't mind like people people disagree with me that's fine people can disagree all the anytime they want and I approve of those comments but if it's something that's just like an attack yeah on me or maybe even maybe one of my subscribers if they're just attacking somebody I just delete it just, I don't even read the entire thing I've and I'm you kind of have to have thick skin like, uh, you know, you just have to let it, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, that's it. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank you for taking time answering my questions. Sure. <laughs> like, like, I had, like I had any choice, I was cornered. Actually, I literally just woke up from <laughs> taking, a, taking a nap and all of a sudden the camera's like, hello. So. <laughs> okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> Sir, look in the camera. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're so cute, sir.